she ain't got no money in the bank. going on guys jack 95 gamer here and i'm back with episode 30 of our west ham united career mode we are just kicking off pre-season here with games against leon and i believe the next one is against palmer so very exciting times for west ham united as uh, we put out our first start 11 of pre-season obviously this might not be the starting 11 that i do start to go with in the fa cup community shield final and obviously the bpl um so kick, kick off, you know, the, the start of the BPL. But, you know, Leon are a really good side. And obviously, they're a team that we have a really good relationship with. Uh, obviously, we've done deals with them. They've done deal with, deals with us. And uh, Stuart Dan does start here against us, which is uh, very good to see. As Valencia gets on the ball and check this out for a ball to Simone Zaza. And what an opening that is for West Ham United. Just a minute 40 into the game, we do find the breakthrough. And it is that man there, Simone Zaza, with an exquisite finish to make it 1-0 to the Hammers. Look at this. You just don't get tired of seeing this ball over the top. And that is a great finish in the half. But anyway, guys, you're probably wondering why I've gone down to doing one upload a day. Now that is because I'm not too sure what I really want to do with my second upload. I don't know if I want to make it foot, like ultimate team, or if I should make it career mode and do double uploads a day. So let me know in the comment section down below what you would prefer to see. Would you rather see an ultimate team video be put up and um, yeah, an ultimate team video be put up along with a career mode video or would you like to see a career mode double header every single day? Let me know in the comment section down below because really it doesn't really matter to me what we do. I'm, I'm happy doing anything, you know, but it'd be interesting to see your guys' point of view and I'll be happy to see it. But a career mode double header does sound appealing to me if, if I'm being completely honest because I do love career mode. It's my favourite game mode, hence why it was the game mode I started playing with. But as you can see here, we come really close to scoring yet again. It's been quite a good first half for us, been absolute dominant. Uh, got Gonzalez gets the ball, he does find Fakir. Fakir gets away from his man against his former club, obviously he finds Zaza, but he blazes that way over the bar there. But it's been a good good first half for us, you know. And uh, it would end the half though with Leon on the attack. Gonzalez wouldn't get past, get rid of the ball properly, and Danny, the former player, would get it back. He would play it in to Ferrari. Ferrari would play Danny, and Danny would find Lacazette, and that is a great finish from the Frenchman to um, basically bring a Danny on the first half for us because I think we could take a lot of positives out of that first half. Obviously, this game is not a serious game, in all honesty. It's just to see how the team does play, but I think. We play quite well, you know. Leon are a team that probably do change for the league and title every single season. And, you know, obviously last season we come third and we want to be changing us into becoming championship competitors. But I think this is a great test for us, you know. Good Champions League warm-up for us and a great opposition to play against. But as you can see, I get onto the ball here. But Dima would play the ball into Dan in, who nearly scores against us. But Winston Reid would be uh, the difference. As Dimitar Berbatov comes on for Leon there. And we do bring on uh, bring off for Keir. And um, Gonzalez and bring on Bahuli and um, Toliso, sorry, our new sign. Obviously, both former Leon players, so we'll see how that one goes. As Bobsov gets on the ball, he would find Lacazette. What a save from Adrian, though. We nearly went 2 1 down, and Dallin's uh, shot is blocked by Cresswell. West Ham hang on, but as you can see here, last few minutes here, Zaza gets onto the ball. What can he do? Gets away from his man there, gets taken out by Badimo, and you guessed it, he stays down. And my word, I'm absolutely so annoyed about that. Uh, Badimo gets the yellow card, but. Zaza's out guys, he, he's injured, we have to make a change and uh, that means that Defara Seco will be coming on to the pitch to see how he does uh, last couple of minutes here, but that is an absolute kick in the teeth for us there, I, I'm, I'm gutted, I really am, but we have to see what the, um, the report is on his injury, but the game would finish guys, good debut here for uh, Jordan Henderson, uh, Taliso, obviously Fakir, uh, a, a lot of players had a good um, debut, uh, they really did, uh, Fabino in a right back role, he was solid, very solid, you know, we, it was quite an even game, 11 shots to add 9, very good warm up for pre-season, I'm very happy with the results, I'm, I'm, I suppose Leon will be too, uh, we're both probably evenly matched sides at the moment, but Adrian, 8.9 rating, the goalkeeper still in the show yet again for us, I just absolutely love this man, he is an absolute god in goal, I, 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 I just hope we can hang on, hang on to him for the rest of the season, but as you can see here, 4 weeks Simone Zaza's out, so he's going to miss the start of the season, but not too much of the season. I, I'm glad it's not a three month for a, a half a season injury, so we, we, we're all blessed about that. But as you can see here, Daniel Henry is on his way to Birmingham City on loan. So we accept the offer and we wish him all the best in the future. And Bahuli says, hey boss, thanks for playing that last match before did real well. And Cochran moans about his role at the club yet again. When I, I don't get angry to moan about your role at the club when you just don't have the quality to fit in there. And that would um, 
spring us to go for, for Finisterre with even more now. Daniel and I, we go in two contract negotiations with him, with Copenhagen, and uh, we offer him that contract, and that could see Cochrane go for a straight swap for a Marty, so that'd be interesting to see. And as you can see, we're going to our second game of pre-season against Palmer. Modern Jaeger onto the bench, but Wilson Sacco start up front, Bahuli, Bazoa, Cochrane, Noble, Tompkins, Moore, Bellerin, Romano and Adrian all start. This is going to be an interesting game. It really is. Palmer, a team obviously that are extinct in real life now, which is absolutely gutting. And um, obviously, they're Serie B band, so are half these players now. So I'm expecting us to win this game in second against the boy. We'll find Bahuli. Bahuli does really well here. Obviously, these players are fighting for a first team spot into the side. And Bahuli does brilliantly to find Sacco there. But that is a fantastic challenge to stop Sacco finding the back of the net there. Palmer with great defender. But Wilson, look at that. James Wilson passes Man with ease here. Here he comes through on goal. Rans the goalkeeper. James Wilson, welcome back to Upton Park this season, boy. What a goal that is from the England man. Obviously, the most improved player of the season. Obviously, got voted for last season. Strikes here again. Look at that. That is a great finish from him. One goal on a friendly. And we're predicting very, very good things for James Wilson this season. As you can see, Galliopa gets onto the ball now. As Palmer trying to get back into the game. Rispoli finds uh, Galliopa again. But Adrian produces a fantastic save there to prevent him from finding the back end there. And as you can see here, Noble would find Wilson. Wilson would get the shot away, but what a save that is from the Palmer goalkeeper to keep the game at 1-0. Into the second half, though, Noble will put a corner into the box. Wilson will cause all the troubles. It falls to Bahuli, who's free. And West Ham, a scrappy goal, but we, make it, um, we double our lead to make it 2-0. And it is Bahuli with the find there. Look at this scrappy goal. You don't, you don't get no scrappier than that. But we do find the back of it eventually. And Ferez Bahuli does get his goal. Who I feel was very unlucky and was a major contender to win most improved player of the season also. But James Wilson just was so good last season. You see, he gets on the ball here and oh my word. Speak of the devil, he gets his second of the game. He gets his brace and James Wilson's back with an absolute bang here. Look at that. 3-0 West Ham United. And that is a great confidence boost to go into our community, uh, a community shield clash against Chelsea. So... I'm more than happy with how the team's playing in all honesty. We are absolutely destroying Palmer. But they will get onto the ball here. Crossed it in. Well out from Bellerin. Uh, it would find to Jokera. And he shoots way over the bar there. Good defensive, um, good defensive skill here from the Hammers. But a free kick in a very dangerous position from Palmer. Get floated into the box. It would find Lassina Triore. Top corner. Lassina Triore. A player that I was looking at getting at the start of this season. And maybe midway through last season. You know, I could have got him get, instead of Simone Zaza. But... I'm happy we got Zaza, but that is a great header from Lassina Traore, but I don't think he'd be a great choice for West Ham in all honesty. But I do win a free kick the last couple of minutes off this game. It's close to an end. West Ham not looking to concede another, but it's a really good shot, but Adrian safe in his own ability to kick that ball out of the net. West Ham walk out of here with a brilliant win. Lassina Traore, obviously very disappointed with his team there, but a 3-1 win for West Ham United. We are ready for the start of the season. As you can see here, again, a very even game. Both pre-season games have been very testing, and I'm very happy about that because it's shown the squad in very good light. And uh, I've definitely got a lot to think about, about what team I want to pick for my first game in the Community Shield final. As you can see here, Mark Noble picks up man and match. The squad captain, very well played from him. At 8.7 he played. He's looking very good for West Ham also. And we also get Daniel Amati in. Bye-bye, Francis Coquelin. Amati comes in for half the wage of Coquelin. And um, he's only a couple of um, ability, ability ratings lower. So, CDM then, you can play centre-back. He's six foot. He's 20, um, 20 years old. He's got a lot to grow, grow for. He's got great physical stats, great skill stats, stats too. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays this season, honestly. Look at them. Look at that strength, that sprint speed, that jumping. Oh my word. But anyway, guys, that is going to bring an end to this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure you do smash that like button. Click on the previous video where the thumbnail is now. And it will take you to yesterday's video, which was the start of the season. As always, I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Let me know if you want career mode videos instead of Ultimate Team videos. What do you want as that second upload of the day? And as always, have a really nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.